Hi, this is Mr. Guy, and we're going to do a government spending problem with GDP. So basically, we're trying to increase GDP a certain percent. In this case, it's going to be 5 percent, and we're going to use government spending. And so we're going to do the increase, but obviously, we can also do the decrease. But this is going to basically the goal is to increase GDP 5 percent. So we're going to start with our formula. And our formula is GDP equals C plus I plus G plus NX. And then we've got our thousand dollars equals 700 plus 150 plus 200 minus 50. So that's our base formula that we're using the regular numbers, the easy numbers. And then our goal is to raise GDP 5%. So we want to make it to go up 5%. We don't want it 6 or 7 because that leads to inflation. Under 3%, 2%, 1% is not high enough. So our goal is to raise GDP 5%. Our MPC is 0.80. So the first thing that we want to do is basically uh, calculate the increase in GDP. So we take the $1,000 times 0 0.05. So we take 1,000 times 0 0.05 equals 50. Then we put the $50 underneath GDP. And now we have to calculate. That's the left side. Now we have to calculate the right side. How much is the right side increase? It's going to be $50, but where is it going to be? So we need to look at the multiplier. So we have the multiplier. So we have MPC is 0.8. The multi government spending multiplier is 1 over 1 minus MPC, so it equals 1 over 1 minus 0 0.80. There is the 1 over 1 minus 0 0.80. Then we have 1 over 0 0.20. So if you take the 1 divided by 0 0.20, you're going to get 5. That is the spending multiplier. And then we have the formula, and the formula basically is this is the initial change in government spending, this is the multiplier, and this is the change in GDP. This is a formula that's in your notes, and we're in the notes we basically look at, you know, here this might be four dollars, and this is the multiplier is five, so you get twenty, so we played around with it that way. Now we're going backwards, and what we're doing is we have our goal of fifty dollars, and then our multiplier is five, what is our government spending? So if we do the division, fifty divided by five, x equals ten. So what we're going to do is we're going to now, that X is 10, and that is goes into government spending. So we're going to put that under the 200. So now we have government spending of 10. We have the increase in GDP of $50. There is not equal. So what we have to do is put the multiplier and that extra spending that goes into consumer spending. So we go 50 minus 10 equals 40, and the 40 goes right there. So that's where the 40 goes. It so goes underneath C. So we've got our changes. We have 50 equals 40 plus 10. So that equals. So everything equals. So that's there, and that's good. So now we have our final GDP numbers. So our final numbers for GDP in this problem, in this situation, it's now GDP is 1,050. Our C is now 740. Our I is still 150. Our G went up 210. And then our NX is still minus 50. So the right side equals the left side. We increased GDP by 5% by increasing government spending by $10. And then with the multiplier, we added $40 to C. So the 10 plus 40 equals 50, and we're all good. So we increased GDP by our goal. We did what we wanted to do, and we used it with government spending. If you have any questions, please let me know. We're going to do taxes for the next video, and then uh, we're going to add on to more. So I want to make sure everybody understands this. If you have any questions, please post or ask in class, and hopefully you have a good day now. Bye-bye.